Okay, this video is going to be about the Black Book, the Sallow region, and how you can use the permanent active effects that you gain from finishing that quest to actually push um, for better weapon damage and uh, better potions, better uh, enchanting, and so forth. So let's start here. Um, I will link in the description in episode A, uh, 19 and 20 of my Dragonborn Assassin Archer Let's Play. I actually got to this book, so I'll link how to get there, those two episodes up at the bottom of this in the description. And um, I noticed after picking up that book, The Seeker of Sorcery I took, which was mainly for less magic cost, also gave me enchantments a 10% more powerful. And there was also another active effect you could pick up called the Seeker of Shadow which gave you all your stealth uh, things for more um, more 10% uh, better so that should be uh, what sneak, lockpick, uh, pickpocket, um, speech and alchemy which the alchemy is what interests us here so in Skyrim, unless you're a vampire, the best gear you can make for alchemy and smithing and therefore um, enchanting potions is 29%. But you can actually push through the barrier by using the active effects in, that you can pick up from this book. So let's have a quick look at this. Um, I have got on... I'll put on this as a legitimate character, so I usually don't use the helmet stacking glitch. So if you've got a Pentas Oculatus helmet or a... Um, Armor helmet, you can stack it on top of a alchemy hel uh, um, a circuit so you can run five bits of alchemy gear. Um, so, with five bits of alchemy gear, I can create a enchanting potion that is 37%. All right, so we won't do that, we're going to go and read the book. So, if you read this book, um, the black book. Sallow Regent and I will actually, vampires can make more damage, they can get to 33% but then they get 25% better um, on their active effect from the enchanted apparel they're wearing and also 25% better on top of the potion they take so this won't meet up with or won't exceed what a vampire could do and I'm yet to test whether you can combine this black book with the vampire to go even further on the vampire but Vampires are overpowered to start with, with the Necromage perk um, in place. Um, they're making weapons that are a thousand plus damage, bows and things like that, so it's super overpowered, but let's do it without the vampire part. So we'll read the book, and we'll head off to Apocrypha. I will link in the description, I did a video not that long ago, um, about vampire elemental damage and uh, it shows you some of the weapons you can craft when you're a vampire with a necromage perk so I'll link that in the description as well as the two episodes that show you how to get to this um, particular book so we took this uh, Seeker of Sorcery, what we want to take now is the Seeker of Shadows and what it says is stealth skills are 10% more effective and it's going to affect my alchemy um, what I am going to do while I'm here is Skyrim has been bugging out so I'm going to pop the light uh, above my head and uh, then read the book to go back. What happens if you if you read the book to go back out of here? I seem to be getting a glitch where I still keep the um, the effect of the darkness burning me and losing my health. So I'm going to try popping that um, that candle light to see if I can uh, get back to the house at Raven Rock without bringing that effect with me. It's a bit of a glitch. It's a known glitch. I actually did just check it on the uh, wiki and it is listed in the wiki as a glitch. Okay, so we're back here. we still got that bloody candle that's going to drive me mad. But anyway, let's, um, when this finishes loading again, let's now check. We've got on our five pieces of uh, alchemy apparel for 29% uh, each. Now let's make... Um, some enchanting potions. So we could make 37% before we went and read that uh, that book. Now we should be able to make 40% or something like that. So let's go with um, butterflies, no, snowberries, and spriggion, spriggion sap. And we can make 40%. So I'll make 
and butterflies and spawn ash. So I'll make six of them potions just to make sure I got enough. And we'll bunk out of there. And now we're going to read the book again. So we've now got 40% potions. So we'll read the book and we'll go back to Apocrypha again. And we will change our permanent active effect from the uh, Seeker of Shadows, which gives you your um, enchanting bonus 10%. Oh, sorry, your alchemy bonus 10%. As well as um, sneak lock picking and all those other stealth things. Alright, so now we're going to pick up this Seeker of Sorcery. And it says uh, all spells cost 10% less magicka. But it also has the effect, when you look at your active effects here, Seeker of Sorcery is enchantments are 10% more powerful. So we will, again, pop this candle light before we read the book so we don't take back the uh, burning effect. We'll read the book. Sallow Regent and head back to Apocrypha. And now we, when we get back there, we will... Um, We've got our 10% active effect on the enchanting now. We'll take the new enchanting potion and we will make some uh, more alchemy gear or some new improved um, alchemy gear. So, a little loading screen. I wasn't so lazy, I'd edit all this, but I'm just going to do it in one take. So, we're going to use the potion for. Uh, 40% and we're going to make some new alchemy gear so item we will start with the gloves enchantment alchemy a grand soul gem and we now make 33% gear so we will name that and we'll name it A33 just for alchemy and 33% we'll actually craft that gear and I'll quickly go again and see if I can get another one done alchemy item gold necklace rename it A33 we'll craft it and we'll go again and see if I can get another one done before the potion runs out and we will we'll get the ring done as well so we'll rename that same again A for alchemy and 33 for 33% and craft it. So we'll back out of here and we'll now take another potion and go again making more alchemy gear. So I actually got confused then, I'll check what I did make. I made necklace, ring and gloves. So I need to make a uh, helmet and a circuit this time around. So we'll take our potion again for 40% And we'll go back into our enchanter and we will make armor helmet will do with stacks the same as pentas oculatus alchemy soul gem grand and we will rename it a 33 just to stop me getting confused when i swap one from alchemy gear we'll craft that and we'll go again. Black Soul Gem, Alchemy, and we need to make a circuit. 33%, rename it. At A33. Too many threes. And craft it. And back out of the A Enchanter. And now let's have a look at this. We have got on. We've got new alchemy gear, so we'll put four or five pieces for 33% on. Now, we will... I'll pop my candlelight first this time. And we will go back to... Apocrypha. Read the Sallow region again, and go back and change our active effect again. We'll change it from the Shadow of Sorcery, which gives us our enchanting bonus, and we will change it to the, um, the Seeker of Shadow which will give us our um, alchemy bonus again. On, load up. Load up, load up, load up. We'll go Seeker of Shadows. Health skills are 10% more effective. Let that effect fully take effect because I did it 
few times here and have crashed, so now we read the book again. Hello region. Salo region. We go back to um, the house in Raven Rock and we'll make some more enchanting potions. Right. Oh, we a little blank loading screen and an auto save. It's going to be very frustrating by the end of this. Um, we got our 33% gear on. Quick check. 33% gear. We will now go in here and make some more enchanting potions. So, enchanting. Um, what are we going to do? Butterfly wings and spawn ash, and I'll make six. Okay, we've made those six. We will now back out of here because we're making 44% instead of the last one which was 40%. We'll back out of here. We will put our candle light back up again. And we will read the book. So I am only popping the candle light just to try and avoid this glitch where if you read the book and head out of there in the dark you seem to bring back the active effect. The, uh, the effect of the um, darkness burning you is the only reason I'm popping the candlelight because I have crashed two or three times trying to do this. And now we need to swap this back to the Seeker of Sorcery to get our um, active effect for enchanting. So we'll pop that active effect on. We will read the book. And head back to Raven Rock once again. Never remember the name of the house in Raven Rock. And I'm going to pause for a second while this loads and have a drink because my throat is driving me insane. Okay, we're loaded and done. So far, so good. Now, we are going to take our um, potion here. We're enchanting at uh, 44%. We're going to pop that. We are going to go here and make uh, some more gear again. So, item, we are going to go with the gloves again. Start off, we're going to go alchemy. And I am going to put smithing on because it's now at 34%. And I think that is the cap and a soul gem and rename I think it's the cap so we are going to go for crafting, I'm going to call it crafting and I might as well not bother with 34 I don't think it's going to matter so we will make that and get out. If I'm quick I might get another one done with I doubt it. Once you've got a pick to enchantments, you seem to get stuck and can't do it. But we got there, so we'll get two out of this one again. So I'll rename that again. Um, crafting. And we'll make it. So we'll back out of here, take another potion, and go again. Potion of 40%, 44% rather. We will make a couple of more bits of gear. Item. I think we need to make the um, ring. And the ring again is alchemy and smithing. 34%, grand soul gem, and we'll name it again. And we'll create it. Can we get another one done? Item smithing, item uh, blacksmith's apron. And we get there with the blacksmith apron. So we will actually make that as well. 
and Arena. Sorry, just checking that I was still recording both sound and video. And we'll make that. And I'll back out and check what I've actually made now. A bit confused. Have a look. Um, Harold. So crafting, I called it. So we've made the ring, we've made the gloves, and we've made the necklace. And we have ring, gloves, and necklace. So I need to make two bits for. Yep. Okay. I need to make the helmet, and I need to make the circuit for. Um, Alchemy. So we'll take the potion. 44%. We will go back into here. And we go item. Um, Pentus Oculatus. Enchantment is going to be Alchemy. Soul Gem Grand. Um, and we'll just call that crafting as well. Okay, so we then make that, we go again, and I need to make circuit, we rename that as well, and let's back out of there. So we should have six bits of equipment now. Have a look. Barrel crafting. And just to double check I've got it right. Let's active effects here. Uh, so we should have four bits of smithing for 34%. And five bits of alchemy for 34%. Which is right, done. Right. I reckon this is the end of where we get to, but I'm going to go one more time here. Um, so let's pop out our spell. Let's go back to Apocrypha. And let's change this over. Do the uh, Alchemy Permanent Enchantment again. So I'm pretty sure this is the end. I don't think it can loop any further than 34%. But I'm just going to double check to make sure that I'm right and show it in the video here. Okay, so we want to go to the Seeker of Shadows. We'll accept that. And we'll read the book to go back to Raven Rock. Play the house in Raven Rock. Now we will be able to make a stronger potion, but I don't think we'll be able to break past 34% on the crafting gear. Um, that's going to be the limit of it. Don't you dare crash. Come on, let's do it. Oh, beautiful. Getting scared now. I'm 19 minutes into a video and I don't want to crash. Okay, use the alchemy lab. Now let's uh, do our enchanting thing again. So we will go with Ag Raven and that. 45% stronger. We'll make quite a few of them. And bunk out. Oh no we won't. We'll actually make some smithing ones while we're here. And smithing is now 178. Right. Let's go back to the permanent active effects. 
and change it back to the enchanting effect. Picker of sorcery, except let's pop out our candle light to make sure we don't bring back with us the uh, effect of our health being drained in the darkness. So, hello, Regent, back to the house in Raven Rock. A bit slow, a bit drawn out doing this. Um, yep, I probably should have edited this, but uh, bad luck. I hate editing videos. Love Skyrim and like putting up the videos, but I um I actually hate editing video. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's pop this potion again. Um we now have potions that are 45% stronger as opposed to 44, which is not going to make any difference at all, I don't think. Let's pop the potion. Let's have a look at this. What can we make? Um, our items. We can go with the gloves and the enchantment of alchemy with a soul gem. And we're still at 34. So let's, while we're here, let's change that alchemy to archery. And we now make 55% better... Um, better archery enchanted um, apparel so just for testing purposes I'm going to make that and I will just call it uh, B55 because I won't be keeping these particular enchantments on this character I don't think so we will make that and we'll back out again and we'll make another few more bits of um, enchantment for archery so that I can actually then just go and have a look at a few weapons and see how much further we actually can get. We want a necklace and we want uh, archery, grand soul gem, rename it, uh, B55, make it. We'll go again quickly while the um, the potion still active, we we'll rename that. B55 and uh, we'll craft it. So we need to make one more bit of um, gear there, so we will actually go with potion again. We will go in here and we'll make a, a circuit or a helmet or something. We got circuit we'll make it circuit and for archery soul gem and rename it B55 we'll craft and actually what I might do quickly is I might make um Entis helmet just to try it out and show it off and we'll make one of them for archery as well because we can stack it with that circuit we just made. Um, not that I've ever done that in gameplay, but uh, let's just do it to have a look at how much extra damage it'll give you once I craft a few bows with this new gear. B55 and we are out of there. Right, so we made smithing potions. Um, now let's have a look what we've got here. We got our new crafting gear, so I need to put on my new crafting gear. I should have all on. Yep. Let's go and I dumped all my weapons and stuff in here because I didn't want to be sorting through them as I was trying to actually um, do that. So what we need to do now is I need to probably look at what I've got that I can actually improve and then go and pick up some resources to do it. So we've got a crossbow. I've got that. Black bow, dwarven bow, elven bow, hunting bow. And stored in here is all my gear for um, 
we'll take a couple of dwarven ingots. Take a couple of ebony ingots. Firewood. Uh, what else do we need? Some steel ingots. Uh, got a couple of storeroom things, so I'll take that as well. I think I have got a dwarven bow on me. I'll take that. What else might I need? Prove that stuff. That's about it, I think. And what we might actually do before we improve this stuff is I'm going to actually look at my skills here. And I'm going to go up to ebony. I'm not going to stay on ebony. I never take ebony um, smithing. Just to see how far you can actually get a storeroom bow to go. I need the ebony perk. Let's take the ebony perk. Now. Let's... Um, Do I have another storeroom bow? I think I've got another storeroom bow here. I'm going to pick up an extra storeroom bow. I've got it. I have got it. Right. Let's improve some stuff and see how much damage we can generate now that we've got new crafting gear. So items, apparel we got on all our crafting gear. Go to our potions, we need to take the potion of smithing for 178%. So legitimately with 29%, 4 bits of 29%, you can make a 130% um, um, potion. Now we're making a 178% after doing this exercise with the book and, and that. So let's go. Everything potion. Jump on here. Alright. What's the blade of woe become? 228. That's crazy. What's a crossbow? We'll do that dwarven bow. We'll do a new long bow. We'll do a new storeroom bow. And an elven bow. Jump off here. Just quickly check that I still got any some of that potion left in the active effect. Smithing. Four seconds to spare. All right. Let's change into our fighting gear, and we'll put on. Well, really, all we're going to put on is four pieces of um, the archery gear. I'm going to leave off the helmet, which would stack the same as the alchemy gear would stack. You can do it for those as well. But four is what you would normally use in the game. You wouldn't be running around with the, the extra on. Oh, well, I wouldn't anyway. So now we've got a blade of woe at 228. We've got a crossbow that does 797 damage. We've got a dwarven bow that will smith to 730. An elven bow, 739. We didn't do a hunting bow. Didn't do a hunting bow. I want to do a hunting bow. 292 out of the um, the 378 damage out of a long bow. And our storeroom bow 778. And you can see the old figures there. Um, so that's the bow that I was legitimately. It's jumped quite a bit in damage, well, because of the extra um, enchanted items. I'm going to actually quickly want to do a hunting bow. Hunting bow is one of my favourites, so let's quickly change my apparel back to my crafting gear. Quickly pop another potion, smithing at 178%, and jump on here. Didn't do that elven dagger either, let's do that. And I haven't got a leather strip. That's why I couldn't do a hunting bow. So, quickly grab a leather strip. And I'll pop the other potion again just to be sure. The potion won't stack on top of the previous potion I took. Jump on here and do my hunting bow. 
And let's do this Dwarven Black Bow of Ice and see if it's got a, a base damage than a standard bow, yeah. Slightly higher base damage than the standard Dwarven Bow there. Right, I'm going to pop on my archery gear again. Now I'm just being indulgent. You're just basically watching me play and test stuff out. Four bits of um, gear. And let's have a look at what my hunting bow got to. 682. And we put on the fifth bit of gear for bows. It's going to make the damage just stupid. 440 out of a longbow, 7, 800 basically out of a hunting bow, 866, just craziness. But then again, I wouldn't ever use the um, fifth bit of gear for um, art. So that's pretty much it. We are finished here. I've finished playing, finished showing you me doing a bit more experimenting with um, the Skyrim. So uh, that'll just about do this video. Any questions? Um, drop me a PM or send me a comment on the bottom of this video and um, that will probably be it for this video I'd say and I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, cheers